Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to write the word name of a decimal. So to actually take a decimal and put it into words. So think about if I had to write a sentence actually using words and letters instead of actually writing the number. What is the appropriate way to write the word name of a decimal? Now in order to write the word name of a decimal, it's very important that you know the place value of the decimal. So taking a look at our first example, we have the decimal uh, 0 0.038, or the proper way to say that would be 38 thousandths. So when it comes to decimals, we need to make sure that we do know the place values of decimals. So for example, the place value of um, the spot immediately following the decimal is the tenths spot, followed by the hundredths, then the thousandths, ten thousandths, and so forth. So when you're writing the word name of a decimal, the process is this. Start by stating whatever, um, whatever number that you have to the left of the decimal. In our case, for our first example, we do not have a number to the left of the decimal. All we have is zero, and that doesn't count. When you get to the decimal point, you typically insert the word and for that. So when you do say and, that does represent a decimal. And then you say the number to the right of the decimal, ending with the rightmost place value of the decimal. So for this particular example, we don't have a number to the left of the decimal, which means we don't need to include that, and we don't need to say and for the decimal point. For this one here, we're only including what's to the right of the decimal point, and we have 38. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. I'm going to write down the number 38. Then you would end with the rightmost place value. So the number I have all the way to the right is an 8. And the place value for the 8 is the thousandths spot. So I would insert that place value. So I would insert thousandths. So the proper way to say 0 .038 is 38 thousandths. Moving on to the second example, our second example here, 2.07, we do have a number to the left of the decimal. The number to the left of the decimal is a 2. So I'm going to start with 2. Then, whenever we get to the decimal point, we insert the word and. So we have 2 and, and then what we have to the right of the decimal. To the right of the decimal, all we have is the number 7. So 2 and 7 and we end with the rightmost place value. So the rightmost place value is the seven. The seven is in the hundred spot. So I would insert that here at the end, and that would give me two and seven hundredths. Our last example down over here, we do have a number to the left of the decimal. That is the number three. When we get to our decimal point, we need to make sure that we insert the word and, so three and. And taking a look at what we have to the right of the decimal, we have the number 27. So three and 27. And we need to make sure that we end that with the rightmost place value. So the rightmost number we have is the number seven. So let's see, that's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, 10,000 spot is where that 7 is, so I would insert 10 thousandths to end that one there. So the number, or uh, 3.0027 is 3 and 27 ten thousandths. That's how you take a decimal and write its word name.